welcome back to BTHQ Banter. I think it's week 35 now. Um, I'm back in the studio today. I'm filming this on my phone because in typical just got back from holiday yesterday afternoon, madness, I've left my camera in my case. Um, so I don't know how well this footage is going to come out. So a nice day today. Elspeth and I are back finishing off our Annette commuter totes. Robin has come in to do a bit more on her dress. And Debbie has come back in to finish the poof that she started the other week so the footstool so we'll see how we get on Elspeth's busy wrestling with a tiger that's what it feels like uh, it's ridiculous it wriggles and it slithers it's not a tiger tigers don't wriggle and slither no well you're the one that said it was a tiger I think it's a child <laughs> they wriggle, wriggle and slither, slither. <laughs> it is Wrestling. Wrestling an alligator. That's what it's like. Is it working now? Yeah. Debbie's wrestling a snake with her long, long <laughs> bit. This is what happens when two people don't listen to the instructions properly. We should have turned our bags in the right way before we attached our zip. And I'm very pleased with my perfect quarter of an inch seam allowance. And now I'm going to have to unpick the whole thing. But at least it wasn't just me, eh, Elspeth? No, but I always do what Claire does. Oh, <laughs> shush. So we've had a very busy morning. Debbie has finished her puffet. Let me show you. So look, Lady Mark in the corner here. She's got her feet up on her poof. Her puffet. What do you reckon? Do you like it? I love it awesome done so well but we're well, gonna have to get you to lift your feet up because just look look at that for some patchwork perfection and we've put um this little ridge all the way around the outside when we work the pattern out um we used the original um perfet, which we'd unpicked um, but it had had piping in here so i hadn't actually taken into account that there was probably some extra seam allowance so it had a little bit of a baggy bottom going on so just to fix that, we've just pinched it in um, by half an inch and put a little row of top stitching all the way around. But actually, that's given it a really nice professional finish. And it now looks like it's got some beautiful piping. So that's going to be in your home for years to come, Debbie. Yeah. As long as the grandkids don't trash it. <laughs> and Elspeth is, what's she doing over here? Are you doing handles? I've just done one handle. She's end done one, one handle. handle. Oh. It's hard work, this it's Annette bag. Work. I've got mine on the go here. I'm just putting my handles on now. Um, and then it will be finished. But I'm really, really pleased with how it's coming along. And Robin has been furiously making ruffles. How beautiful are these, though? They're just gorgeous. Really, really pretty. That's going to go all the way around the skirt, isn't it, of the dress? Oh, is that what you're marking yeah, up now? So, fantastic. And we've done sleeves. They've got ruffles as well. Didn't oh realize gosh! I need to add gathering on the top. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Never mind. It's all done now. So, in other news, I've got seagull pants on today. <laughs> Look. Too much information. No, it's not. Look, I've got seagulls on. You can't see anything. <laughs> but. They are the comfiest pair of pants I have ever, ever owned. They are so comfortable and I think it is purely down to the fabric. So I have now decided that I'm going to bring in a pair of my favourite Primark pants and I'm going to use them as a pattern. I'm going to try and develop my own sewing pattern for pants. That's kind of a combination of all the things that I like about the Acacia pants and the Barry briefs. Um, I kind of mix them together with bands and see if I can come up for something, come up with something myself. Well, that's another BTHQ banter over and done with for another week. So we've only had one day today uh, for you to see. But obviously, this is now up on the channel on Friday. So we will have already started filming next week's BTHQ banter. And we have an absolutely packed week for you next week with loads of exciting classes. 
If you're still here and you're still tuned in, you might like to know that our online sewing clubs are now open for enrolment for the September term. We have a beginners club, which is our bronze lounge, and we have an intermediate club, which is our silver lounge. And when you've worked your way through each of the lounges, you get upgraded to the next lounge. Um, there are three fantastic projects in our beginners club and six fantastic projects in our intermediate club. And the doors are open until the 9th of September when they then close and they won't open again until the new year so if you'd like to enroll in them they are just £10 a month and you will have full tuition from me great video courses also with written instructions and support from me in our Facebook groups and also you get to know and work with all the other fantastic pupils who are all in the club already um, and it's a really nice sociable place to be so I'll put links down below do go go and check them out as I say the doors are only open until the 9th of September so all of the lovely things that you see us making here every time that I mention the online sewing club if you want to make those things and join in then you need to sign up as soon as possible so go check that out so thank you very much for watching I hope this video hasn't been too awful having been recorded on my phone but I will see you again next week for another BTHQ banter